How does bubble sort work? In a simple example, we have an array of values to be sorted. Each pass through the list rearranges it to put the greatest values at the end. I'm sharing pure VBA that works in Access as well as other applications like Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. I'm also sharing code using bubble sort to sort a two-dimensional array by any column. Hi, this is Crystal. Let's look at some code and see how it works. This array of string values is passed to the bubble sort procedure. In there, it is called PS array, P for passed and S for string. First, we'll dimension some variables. I row is for the row we are currently on when we're looping. I row 1 is the first row. I row 2 is the last row. I rows is the number of rows. I last row keeps track of the last row number we need to compare. I count swap keeps track of the number of swaps done in a pass through the list, so we can find out if all the sorting is done. S value 1 and S value 2 keep track of the two values we are comparing. The I prefix means the variable is an integer less than 32k. The S prefix means the variable is a string. The first row in the array is calculated by getting the lower bound using the lbound function. The first row is 0. The last row in the array is calculated by getting the upper bound using the ubound function. The last row is 9. The number of rows is the last row minus the first row plus 1, which is 10. Since we haven't swapped anything yet, I count swap is 0. If there's more than one row in the array, then we are going to sort. Then we set the last row to compare to be the last row of the array. The outer do loop goes until the last row to compare is the first row of the array. The inner for loop starts with the first row and goes to the next to the last row, since there must be one more row to compare to. I row is the current row we are on. The first time through, I row will be 0. S value 1 is the value in the current row. S value 2 is the value of the next element of the array. When we start, title is value 1 and subject is value 2. Title is greater than subject since T is greater than S. To swap the array values, set the first array element to value 2 and the second array element to value 1 and increment the swap counter. Now, subject is first and title is second. I row is now 1 and title is compared to author. Since title is greater than author, the array values are swapped. This process continues until each pair of consecutive values is compared and swapped if the first value is greater than the second value. Title just keeps moving down since it is the greatest one in this list. When the inner for loop is done, if there weren't any swaps, the code exits the outer do loop. Otherwise, the last row is decremented by 1 to ignore what is last, and the swap counter is set to 0. Then control goes back to the do loop. The last row is now 8, and the first row is 0. So the do loop continues. Now subject is the first element. Every two values are compared and swapped if necessary. Subject 
keeps moving down since it is greater than the other values. Now, subject is next to last since title is still the greatest. The last row to compare is decremented by one to ignore subject and title, and the do loop continues. When the code is done, the list is in alphabetical order. So that's how bubble sort works. Download the code from msaccessgurus.com. The link is in the video description. In another video, I'll show you how to expand this code to sort a two-dimensional array. Thanks for joining me. Have a bubbly day.